Hello everybody, my name is iWaffles, and tonight I'm going to be looking at the Marvel Legends 80th Anniversary, or 80, 80 years comic, Colossus and Juggernaut. Uh, this is a big box, but because the white background's gone, uh, I'll put it back whenever I look at the figures, but uh, you could probably... I'm trying to get the sides of the box. This is with the figures inside this is a hefty box I'm just gonna say that now it's a heavy box uh, the side shows Juggernaut and then has their bios for both of them shows a page from one of the X-Men comics uh, I didn't read the X-Men comics back in the day because I wasn't born and then this side has Colossus and him pummeling Juggernaut is it the same? Oh, I would have liked it if there was one pummeling Colossus on this side but you know uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. I mean, it's a bigger version of the the 80th line boxes. The nice glossy Marvel logo. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This thing costs 60 bucks, which is a hefty uh, price, but these figures are worth it. I think it's just, once again, with the 80th line, it's just a roll of the dice and see if you get good QC and... On mine, yes and no. So, let's actually look at them. Let's screw the box. Uh, let's look at them. Alright, here are Juggernaut and Colossus. And with these figures, having them for a week or two, I think I like Juggernaut more because he has the least amount of QC issues. Colossus has QC, issue, Q QC issues, but uh... he's alright i mean i don't have a colossus in my collection even though i had multiple opportunities to have one uh... it's just that i wanted this costume and the previous marvel legends colossus that came out didn't want it i did see it i just didn't want it uh... this is the costume that is most iconic for colossus besides the deadpool one the juggernaut is a rehash from the build a figure but i think it's a good rehash because the juggernaut wave i found none of it whenever uh, that was when I was just starting to really collect them. Let's take a look at uh, Juggernaut first, because he's a rehash, and uh, he is a big boy. Let me tell you, he is the most of the weight of from the packaging, uh, and they did remove the belt. People have been complaining that they did remove the belt uh, from the Build-A-Figure. Uh, I wish I had that Build-A-Figure piece. <laughs> So I could, you know, give him the belt, but I am fine with this current, uh, there was a bug <laughs> flying towards the light and I had to kill it. But, uh, yeah, he, the only QC place, like, the paint is this foot. I think the left foot of him, it's, I can't, I'm trying to get to show up in the light, but it's right, it, there's like black paint missing where it's like, I don't know, something happened to the foot. And then there's also black paint, just, you know, straight showing on the side of his leg. I mean, I'm fine because he is a down and dirty character. He loves fighting. And the same thing with Iron Man is just that instead of the gold paint chipping, it's just the plastic's going to be really put to the test when you do the iconic juggernaut running poses. Uh,. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Juggernaut. I mean, it's the same build a figure, but they didn't add. I think I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. There were there's like a wash to the bands. I do not know if there was one, but it's not there on this one. Uh, but that's kind of a bummer. And the one thing I really hate about these bands is that they're really loose and they fall down sometimes randomly. Same thing on the hands, because he does have interchangeable hands this time around. And just because he's a build a figure, he can come apart pretty easily. So if you pop the arm out, it's not broken. It's just he's a build a figure and he's rehashed, uh, which is pretty good for most people like me who don't want to pay a huge sum for the Juggernaut wave, uh, saying that you didn't want most of the figures anyway. But yeah, this is a really nice figure. The articulation on with the dome head, he can look up that far he doesn't really need to look up because he is a tall character he needs to look me more concerned about looking down which the dome sculpt is gonna hinder that greatly the arms can only go out that far with well can they go you can push it a little bit further but 
I would, because of course the arms pop out, you could probably, no, <laughs> the joint's not going to move any further. That's how far he'll go out. Uh, and then he'll rotate all around. It's, like, you can feel when he hits a detent. He has a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow that doesn't even go 90 because of the cuff right there. Then both hands will hinge in and out. And then the ab crunch will oh, oh, crunch forward that much. So he can, well, you can also use that to help him look down. He can look up pretty far, but beware because the paint will stop right there. He has a waist swivel. Uh, he can kick out that far, not that far, but he doesn't need to really worry about that part. He needs to worry about kicking forward, which pretty good for a big guy. And then the single jointed knees. Mine are just, like, really tight. Oh, my goodness. But I haven't... I'm not worried about breaking them. It's just that I'm worried about, I don't know, the detents wearing out because I'm putting too much pressure on it. I've heated them up, and they're still tight as all can be. But the ankle, he can... Actually, that's quite impressive. Not going to lie. And then just remains flat. And then he has a good, really good ankle pivot for a big guy which I really like and uh, let me put him aside and get our main man Colossus the real new figure which is a really nice figure but I some people have said his proportions are weird and I do agree it's just I don't think they're ever going to <laughs> if they're going to redo this Colossus it's gonna be some way years upon years up down the line because they this costume is pretty much the most iconic Colossus costume that I can think of off the top of my head for comics. I can't really remember any other. Yeah, but I mean, the the silver is shiny. It's, it's like Iron Man. It's shiny where it needs to be, but I'm not having the issue where it's flaking, so for some reason, the silver just tends to be normal on here. Uh, but the QC issue for mine is that he has Bucky Cap Syndrome, where the legs are loose and that really inhibits his posing capabilities because he'll like to fall over. Uh, quite unfortunate, but uh, that's a bug. <laughs> and that's. Uh, but. And my other QC issue is that this arm is really tight. I've heated it up and it's still not budging that much. I, I have to force it and I'm scared every time I use that arm that it's going to break and I hope it never breaks because it's a really good figure don't get me wrong the proportions are a little wonky but I'm fine with that because he will be mostly in an action pose on the shelf whenever I put them on there I guess I'm working on something new with these figures because with the new Nightcrawler 2 is that this is not painted on like it's not sculpted in it's an overlay because it's a well glued on overlay it's just that it's not a part of the base body it, for the upper torso because it's very flexible. I noticed it more on Nightcrawler. It's very hidden on Colossus. Maybe because Nightcrawler is smaller and it's harder to hide something that prominent. But it's really nice. Uh, the articulation is he can look up pretty much all the way. He can look down all the way to his chest. His metal pectorals. Uh, the arm goes not even 90 out it's kinda just sags down a bicep swivel single jointed elbow uh, not even it's like juggernaut doesn't even get 90 and then the wristbands they they're loose so they'll be getting caught everywhere and both hands will hinge in and out and then he has a waist crunch well a tor um, upper torso crunch which is really good my goodness <laughs> Colossus can really move in his upper torso that's where he really shines the most and after a certain point of ex uh, extending it uh, you would no longer get the ab detail uh, and then with the legs he kicks up that far not even back you can't even really consider that back because mine is a little bit loose uh, uh, upper thigh swivel that's really tight a double jointed knee that's well hidden behind guards I guess <laughs> the knee guards for that uh, then my other main complaint with this figure is the feet. It's just they're either really tight or really loose. Um, this side's like it just works normally. This side, it, I'm afraid about breaking that peg in the foot, and the foot can't really hold like 
it's not meant... Well, there you go, it's proving me wrong. It's just that sometimes it doesn't hold the weight of Colossus. But, you know, I really like these figures. Uh, they're fun to pose, it's just that because Colossus has this issue, he kind of tends to just topple over, or he'll just find a point where he'll stay still. It's just... He is, that part really bums me out the most, is the loose legs. Let's get to the accessories of these figures. So, with the two-pack, you get a damaged Juggernaut helmet, which is really nice. It's a nice add-on. Uh, I like the silver brush strokes in, this, in the helmet to simulate like it was forced. It was like some they threw Wolverine at him and it ripped the dome open. Looks really nice, it looks very battle damaged. And to go along with that, they give you a juggernaut head sculpt, an unmasked, unmasked uh, variant with a black eye. Uh, that looks serious, juggernaut. You might want to go get that looked out. But he has really nice hair, it has a wash to it, so it's not just flat red. I think this is a really nice addition, and it's just supposed to just clip on to his hair, but uh, it kind of works, it kind of doesn't. But with that, it looks, you know, like he's been beaten. Or you could just use it, because I think I'm going to have him displayed with the regular Juggernaut helmet, but that's a really good alternative. And that's the only alternate head we get with this set, but with also with Juggernaut we get splayed out hands, unlike the Builder figure, which only had the fist, and they also... One's more open than the other. I think this is just for, like, if Colossus throws a punch, he'll catch it. I don't know. I really would have wished they would have had two of the same on this side. Just, you know, my preference. But, you know, it's really nice. Once again, no wash on the knuckle guards. And then with Colossus, he... They at least were nice enough to give us two splayed-out hands, which are really nice. Uh, I, I was fine with, the two, with two fists, but... I think this makes the Colossus figure even better, but on this one, it's this hand, the peg is stuck, and I'm not trying to force it, so I'm just going to keep it that way. Probably I'm not going to display him that way anyway, but it's a nice inclusion, and I really appreciate it. So now let's get to size comparisons, then my final verdict. Alright, here are Juggernaut and Colossus. Juggernaut stands about 7.5 inches tall, while Juggernaut could be eight and three quarters tall or it depends on how you have his head and head displayed whether you have it angled down angled up it just really depends with it all the way up it's about eight and three quarters of an inch uh, so uh, let's get to size comparisons uh, these are just some figures I have lying around uh, here he is with the SH figure arts infinity war captain america uh, still the best Infinity War Captain America. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Even though he's an import figure, he still is way small. Juggernaut would pummel this guy. Uh, and here, he, here is the SH, of fig, SH Figure Arts Avengers Endgame Captain America. I don't know why I pulled him out for some reason. Then here we have the new Wendigo Wave X-Force Wolverine. Let's get him standing up. I think he's an alright figure course Logan being a very small dude he is smaller than the Captain Americas which I'm fine with uh, but yeah and then of course we'll compare him to the rest of the 80th anniversary line figures I have currently here he is with the Alex Ross Captain America so really good size and then the Alex Ross Iron Man so yeah I mean they're these these figures are well well sized actually, and then there they are with the Th Alex Ross Thor. Yeah, Thor being the tallest one out of the big three, he kind of almost gives Colossus a run for the money of being taller, but unfortunately he is not taller. Oh, uh, let's see who else do I have? Uh, here we have the Jazzwares Fortnite six inch line Skull Trooper, and that's about as good as I'll get him to stand up, but. Still very small. Uh, let's see. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Far From Home Mysterio. Even Mysterio, which is 
MCU, which would be a little bit bigger than comic. Still very small. And then, just for giggles, we'll compare him with the Far From Home Spider-Man upgraded suit. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> is Wolverine taller than... Okay, no. He, Wolverine's not even close to being taller than the Far From Home Spider-Man. But that's it for size comparison, so let's get to my final verdict and if you should buy it. Alright, so should you buy these figure the two-pack? Yes, if you're a comic collector. Now, if you're not a comic collector and you're more of just... You want to get into Marvel Legends, this may not be the two-pack for you. This line is more for the collectors who either missed out or wanted more accurate figures, like the Alex Ross figures. Uh, if you're an X-Men fan, yes, get this, because <laughs> this Colossus, I don't think they're going to make another one in a long time. There's not a lot of memorable suits for Colossus, and this is the most memorable one, besides the, uh, the Deadpool-verse, but... They're not going to make Marvel Legends of those, so... Yes, uh, with the Juggernaut being a rehash, I'm fine with. It's because it was 2016 when that wave came out, and my around where I live, that wave was very hard to find. I was lucky to find a rogue figure. Uh, Deadpool had to order offline, because everyone had Deadpool craze at that point. Uh... But the Colossus will go well with your with your X Men figures. He'll be a definite standout piece on a shelf, and so would Juggernaut. So if you have the sixty bucks and you see this, go pick. Yep, yeah, definitely pick it up. But if you're not a comic fan, don't even bother with this set. Or if you're just getting into Marvel Legends, don't bother with this set either, because you just need to start with the basics, really, or even your favorite characters. That's what I did. Uh, but yeah, the Nendroid. Deku, Deku and Bakugo should be out in the next couple of days after this. Uh, I'm going to try and get them out soon. Uh, and then after that, we're just going to freestyle this channel because I'm out of stuff to review. I may try the Lightning Collection from Hasbro, but that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace.